Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 36 from the CSET Multiple Subjects Math and Science Test in California. It's a great problem. You see a lot of these problems on various different types of teacher certification exams involving multiplying two-digit numbers and having to figure out these missing pieces in the multiplication of these two numbers. We'll start by reading it over. And as we read it over, at some point I want you to pause the video and try and fill in these missing digits. See if you can get to the answer, and then you can unpause it and check to see if you got the right answer, okay? So let's look at number 36. It says, the problem below shows steps in finding the product of two two-digit numbers using the standard multiplication algorithm. The missing digits in the problem are represented by the symbol box. Some number times 36, you got the ones, the, hundred, uh, the ones, the tens, and the, the sum of these gets you the th uh, an answer. We call the answer of a multiplication problem the product, and uh, it's a four-digit number. It says, what is the hundredths digit in the product of the two numbers? Now you read it to yourself. Read it over. Notice we have that word product appearing a couple times here and here, and then we also have, uh, uh, we also have, who saw that algorithm word? Standard multiplication algorithm, we got that going on. And then we also have words like, uh, here, like digit, represent, digit, hundreds, play, hundreds. That's, uh, that's your cues for place value. Let, let's start with product. The product of two numbers is whenever you multiply two numbers like a times b, the answer to that multiplication product is going to be the product. And that's what we call a product, the, the answer to uh, a multiplication problem. Um, sometimes we have division problems like a, let me do a darker color here, a divided by b. And the answer to a division problem we call the quotient. All right, so multiplicate, answer to a multiplication pro problem is the product. Answer to a division problem, we call the quotient. All right, algorithm. Algorithm is just a way of doing something. So whenever you see the word algorithm, this is a fancy smancy way of saying a way. So this is a standard multiplication way of multiplying two two-digit numbers. Here's, a, here's one way, here's an algorithm for addition of one plus one to get two. Here's another algorithm for addition. I'm just setting it up in a different way. Both are pretty traditional algorithms for addition. And this is a very traditional algorithm for multiplication. Okay, so we got product, algorithm, out of the way. And then let's just really touch upon that place value clues. This says that we're looking for the hundreds digit in the, uh, in the product. So whatever the product is here, our answer, we're looking at the hundredths digit. Whatever these digits are, this first one is in the ones place. This is the tens. This third one's in the hundred, the hundreds. This is the thousands. And we're going to be looking to see what digit is there in the hundreds place. So this problem also has a little place value going on. And you can always see that whenever you see these words, digit, represent, stuff like that, um, those are always clues that you're, it's going to have a little bit of place value going on. Okay, now we get to the problem itself. Where do we start? Well, start with uh, what you can answer. Let me enlarge this. For example, we can do six times nine. Six times nine is, is what? Six times nine is 54. So that's a four, and we carry a five. Now, now we have six times something. I don't know what that something is. But I know when I do 6 times something, the product, whatever it is, the product of 6 times something, when I add it to 5, it gets me to 29. So what number, when the product of 6 times something gets you a number? 
what number when you add it to 5 gets you to 29? Well, that would be 24, right? So 6 times what gets 24? 6 times 4 gets 24. So 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 is 29. All right, we got the first row. And now we have a value 4 that could work, uh, or appears to work for the first row. Let's just continue on the pattern. Let's do the, this is the 1's place, let's do the 10's place. 3 times 9 is what? 3 times 9 is, you do it, what is it? What is, what's 3 times 9? 27. 7, carry the 2. We no longer have that 5 there. 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 2 is 14. Uh, oh, I, look, I made a mistake. Did everyone catch that mistake? I didn't even catch it. But I'm, I'm going to keep this in the video because I want to see how easy it is to make a mistake. What's wrong with my 7 being placed there? Well, I should have accounted for a 0. Remember when we go to the, the next place, we, this one's always going to be a 0. Carry down a 0. Then it should have been uh, 3 times 9 gets you 27. The 7 should have gone here. And then when we're, we got the carry the 2 from the 27, it should have been uh, 3 times 4 is 12 plus the 2 gets 14. Now I'm keeping this in. I want to keep this in because I caught it. I caught the mistake and we all make mistakes. But you got to be super careful when you do this because what if you don't catch it? And you got to anticipate that you're going to make mistakes like that and you got to always, as you work through the problem, you got to try and catch it. All right, I'm, I'm hoping that we're all learning from this experience. Don't do it at home and see that you always want to carry down that zero when you go to the tens place. And if there, there was a third digit here, we would add on two more zeros and start at the hundreds place. But now we've learned our lesson. We're at this final point where we add these two values up. Four plus zero is uh, Four plus zero is four. Nine plus seven is 16, carry the one. Four plus two plus one is uh, seven. And this is just a one. So we have 1,764. This is the, we already did this, but this is the, the ones, tens, hundreds. And we're looking for the answer that's in the hundreds place. So the, the digits in the hundreds place is seven. The answer is the answer here is D. Okay, team. Um, lots of little math here. And this is a nice problem to just uh, practice with and just become familiar with. You'll see problems like this all the time on your teacher certification exams. They're like puzzles and you got to have a way of just be familiar with how to solve these and work through them. And I think if you're familiar with this type of problem, when it comes along on the day of your test, your teacher certification exam, you'll be in a lot better position to answer it. All right, team, this is Chris Averham from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care.